If you were to debate which South African golfer has had the best year, I imagine the name of Dean Burmester would score high on the list. He's added a seventh Sunshine Tour win to his name this season, and it's been good to catch up with him at Sun City. Good preparation for the Ned Bank for me later in the year, and you know, I, it's a fantastic nick, and I think come, come November it's going to be unbelievable. We'll look forward to seeing the Schwani Open champion come the Ned Bank. Let's hope he's firing on all cylinders once again, because lately the standards dipped a bit. A little bit up and down, I think. Right after Tswani, I, I suffered an injury, and then uh, to my left ankle, and then you know, the last just before this big swing of events, I I ripped a muscle in my left shoulder. So I've been going went through a bit of a tough time the last sort of three months or so, but I'm recovering. I'm, I'm getting, getting a bit of distance back, and, and not only that, I'm finding my swing, and hopefully, come towards the end of the year, we'll be we'll be firing again. He was firing on the European Tour at the start of the year on the Desert Swing. An excellent top 10 finish in Abu Dhabi. First thing I'd, I'd like to qualify for the Dubai World, you know, the DP World Championship um, at the end of the year. You know, next thing would be to get a win. Um, I didn't play a major this year, so I'm a little disappointed with that. I, I really had a good chance to play both the British and the US PGA this year, and I just missed out on both of those. Um, so, you know, lots of things to work on and look forward to for the next few months. It's been part of the learning curve, translating his home form to playing away, getting to grips with the differences. I've learned to be patient. Uh, they're difficult conditions, you know, different languages, different foods. The travelling's tough, you know, being away from your family. Um, when my family's there, it's tough because my little guy doesn't really enjoy travelling hotel room to hotel room every week. So, you know, you kind of got to change the situation from week to week and assess how it's going to go and then, you know, just go forward from there. Dean's enjoying the challenge of testing himself against European players on their patch. You know, those guys grow up in rain, wind, wet conditions, you know, muddy fairways, you know, and then you get Lynx golf where some guys just thrive on Lynx golf and, you know, we've never had any of that. So, you know, we, we kind of very parking based golf courses down here and, um, you know, so I'd say it's the conditions and the weather would probably be the best. When it comes to the places he's been, well, he's touring the world and a few places stand out for him. You know, I've, I've fallen in love with Spain. I really like Spain. Food's great there. People are always friendly. Czech Republic, you know, Prague is, we go to Prague, Prague's the most beautiful city in Europe, it's just, it's amazing, you know, it's well priced, and again, you know, the, the people are so friendly and willing to help you. But yeah, I've got a lot of friends in the UK as well, you know, in and around London, so it's always nice to go to London, Southampton area, um, and visit a few of my friends up there, so those would probably be my three. And when it comes to the golf courses he's played for the first time, which has really stood out, made a lasting impression. Port Stewart Golf Club in Ireland was, I mean, the front nine is probably the best nine holes I've ever played. Um, in the practice round, you know, unfortunately, you know, you do get big crowds and that's kind of part of it. The guys ripped it up because, you know, they trampled down all the rough and the guys were able to hit driver everywhere. But, you know, that front nine holes in the practice round on the Monday, if you missed a shot there, you were, I mean, you were reloading, you know, and that's five yards off the fairway. So I, I really love that challenge. And then uh, I think condition-wise and, and layout-wise, to what suits me, I really enjoyed Wentworth. I know I've played well there, but I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed the golf course and you know, I'm looking forward to going back there next year. It's a kind of a catch-22 because on one side, you know, the travel is difficult, but on the other side, it's amazing going to new golf courses, meeting new people, playing with some of the best players in the world. And then you come back home and, you know, it, it feels like home and the guys are so open and inviting and, and being friendly. And, you know, the guys want to see you back here supporting the tour and, and you know, that's massive. But yeah, those are, those are probably the best things. He'll always acknowledge the debt he owes to the Sunshine Tour and sees the way the tour is going from strength to strength. Looking down the range, the guys are really good. Uh, I think there are quite a lot of youngsters out here, which is really good to see you know, guys um, coming through through the ranks of amateur and junior golf and, and getting straight out here and, and you know, sharpening their teeth. I always actually find July, August, I never really play that well. I know I've won an event in July, but, but only one event. Most of my wins have kind of been back into the year or beginning of the year. So, you know, I'll look at that in the future because I know biorhythms and people tell me these things all the time. Um, so scheduling plays a big role just in, in being comfortable and, and being able to rest your body and, and get ready for, you know, the big tournaments and, and hopefully one day the majors. OK, we won't expect immediate fireworks, but we know there are plenty of chances still to shine.
It's going to be hectic, okay? You know, if I play every event with 13 weeks in a row and then one week off and then another two weeks in a row, so uh, another three weeks in a row with Mauritius. So it's going to be it's going to be crazy, but um, you know, we're going to just knuckle down and do our best. I think, you know, I find the more I play, the better I play. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. An exciting talent with a few years under his belt and plenty more to come.